welcome to episode number 23 of Make Thrift Buy, a show where you send me clothes or accessories that you found on the internet and I try my best to recreate them. Today's challenge was suggested to me by Nekarit CX, who wanted me to try and recreate this iPhone case. Now, I do personally think that this accessory is ridiculous, but on this shop, Velvet Caviar, it does retail for $43 and I'm pretty sure that I can recreate this for a lot cheaper. So, challenge accepted. Let's begin. I started by thrifting myself a teddy bear. This guy was $1 from the thrift shop, and although it looked pretty clean, I still gave it a quick wash after I bought it. So I know that the case in the original is actually a Rilakkuma bear, but if I was going out and buying a Rilakkuma bear for new, that would kind of defeat the purpose of this series. So I'm working with what I was able to thrift. Now I did buy one thing for new, and that was this plain, stiff iPhone case that I found at the dollar store for $2. For this project, I also needed some craft glue, scissors, a needle and thread, and some kind of thick material. I'm using PVC, but you could also use canvas or denim. You will also need one stone cold, evil heart that makes you totally okay with cutting up a cute teddy bear. So it's time to cut up the bear. I flipped the bear over onto its front and then I found the seam in the middle of its back. I then cut up this seam. I then removed a bunch of stuffing to make the bear a little bit thinner and to make room for the phone case to sit in. So then I cut the slit to the same length as the iPhone case. And then I made four equal sized cuts at the top and the bottom of the slit, like this, so that when I fold back the excess fabric, this hole is going to be the same size as the phone case. Then, with the piece of PVC, I used the case as a template and I drew around it, adding about an extra inch on each side. I then cut out this piece of PVC and then I kind of just jammed it into the back of my bear like this. I folded these side flaps over the side of the PVC material and then with my needle and thread, I sewed the PVC into the bear, attaching it to the bear's skin. I also realized too late that this process would have been a lot easier if I had cut away small corners of the PVC like this before inserting it. But I'd already sewed half of it in, so I kept sewing and it seemed to work out all right anyway. Then I grabbed my craft glue. I squeezed the glue all over this PVC lining that I've made and also onto the back of the phone case. Then I placed the phone case into the bear on top of the piece of PVC, hoped for the best, and I also waited about an hour for it to dry. So that's it. Okay, so I have to admit that I kind of like it. It's just so ridiculous that it's become kind of fantastic. I mean, calling people is now a lot more fun. Hey, it's me. So if I sound a little bit muffled, it's just because I have a bare butt in my face. Yeah, yeah, a, a bare butt in my face, you know. Hello? And it still works, like, fine. I can still text off it, scroll Instagram. And while the back camera doesn't work because there's a, there's a bear in the way, the front camera still works, so you can still take selfies. So although I was not expecting this, I would actually call this Make Thrift Buy a complete success. Actually, just before we get too enthusiastic here, just hold up a second. I kind of changed my mind about the whole liking this phone case thing when I took it outside my apartment and out into public. I looked entirely nuts. And every time I took my phone out of my bag, I got very, very embarrassed. Probably because a lot of people stared at me while I did it. So, yeah. So that's it for today's episode. Please don't forget to keep sending me in suggestions for new challenges to try out on Make Thrift Buy. I don't mind ridiculous challenges. In fact, sometimes the more ridiculous, the better. And I'll see you all for my next video. Bye.